so I had totally recorded like half of this video already and then I realized my camera wasn't even turned on so that's Monday for ya. Great. Hey everyone, it's Emily and it's time for my February TBR and I'm actually also including my Rainbow-thon TBR. What's the Rainbow-thon you ask? It is a reading-a-thon that's happening February 7th through the 14th and you read books whose covers correspond with the colors of the rainbow. And so actually let's do the Rainbow-thon TBR first. For Red, I will be reading Soundless by Rochelle Mead. This is actually also my book for my Diverse Books project. This is a book about a girl named Faye. She lives in a small village where nobody can hear, and they receive their food via this weird zipline thing that comes down from the mountains, and that's how they survive. But then one day they also start not being able to see and their deliveries of food start to dwindle and she goes on an adventure journey to try and save her village. And this book is really steeped, I read, in a lot of Chinese folklore and so this should be a really interesting read. And I chose this book for red because the spine of the book is red. For Orange, I'm going to read Dragonfly in Amber by Diana Gabaldon. This is the second book in the Outlander series. And I'm kind of nervous about this book because I read Outlander in December and I absolutely loved it. And then a friend of mine who was the one who really encouraged me to read Outlander, she read this book and it kind of made her angry. And so it made me nervous to read it, but I think I'm finally ready. I'm just nervous about it for the Rainbow Thon because look at how thick this is. This is almost a thousand pages long. Not necessarily a book you would normally pick for a readathon, but I did read Outlander, which is, you know, in similar thickness, and I only read it in a couple days. Like, I completely breezed through it because it didn't feel like it was that long. So I'm really hoping that's the case with this book. For Yellow, I'm going to read Friday Night Bites by Chloe Neal. This is the second book in the... Chicago Land Vampire series. I read the first book last month and it was so much fun and I really really liked it and so I decided I really wanted to continue with the series and I chose it for yellow because while the whole cover isn't yellow there's a lot of yellow goldish themes in this cover so it works. For green I'm going to read Miss Roosevelt's Confidant by Susan Ella McNeil. This is actually the pick that Sandy chose for my book club, The Bookworms, and I'm super excited to get into it. It's a mystery novel that takes place in the 40s, and I usually don't read mystery novels, but I really love a good 1940s read, so I'm pretty excited for this one. For Blue, I'm going to read The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. Basically, if you haven't heard, even though I've heard a lot of people talk about this book on BookTube, it's about these kids that go to school with all of like the superhero chosen one types. But this book is about everyone else in the school who's kind of just normal. And finally for Violet or Purple, because I'm kind of combining Indigo with the blue-violet colors. And according to the rules, you can do that. I am going to read Heartless by Gail Carriger. This is, I believe, the fourth book in the Parasol Protectorate series. I have been intending to read this book for forever, but I just haven't yet, and in fact, it's part of my TBR jar or wine glass for 2016, and so it worked out perfectly because this is like the only book I own at the moment that has purple in it that I needed to read. So, it works. So those are my books for the Rainbow Thon. I hope they don't fall. And now for the other books I'm going to read in February. Actually, the first one I'm going to read before I get started on the Rainbow Thon is Dead Witch Walking by Kim Harrison. I actually started this book last month, but I didn't have a chance to finish it because I got a bunch of books from the library. And I always like to try and read my library books first, so that way I don't return them late. But this one is really cool. It's about a witch type of a person who lives in modern day Cincinnati. I think it's Cincinnati or Cleveland, somewhere in Ohio. And it looks really, really interesting so far, and I'm really, really enjoying it. And so I'm excited to finish this book. 
I'm also going to read Magic Burns by Alona Andrews. This is the second book in the Kate Daniels series. I read the first one last month and I really liked it and I decided I would give the rest of the series a try as well. And I'm also going to read The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. <sighs> I just love this book so much. And for Mari uh, from My Name is Marina's, she has a Goodreads group called Read with Mari, and she's picking a book to reread every month. And this was her pick for February, and so I'm rereading this with her. There are two other books I intend to read this month. The first one is Cold Days by Jim Butcher. It is, I believe, the 14th book in the J Dresden File series. 13th or 14th, something like that, but I'm still on the waiting list from my library for that book, and so as soon as it comes to me, I will be reading it. Also, Stars Above by Marissa Meyer comes out tomorrow. It is a set of short stories that are part of the Lunar Chronicles, and I'm just so excited, and I want to read it right now, but I also realize that I may or may not have the chance to get to the bookstore tomorrow to pick up my pre-order of it, and I'm kind of slightly worried about that because I need it. I need it. But that is my TBR for February, and I'm sure there might be other books I'll be reading, but that's what I plan on reading for now. We'll see how well I keep up with it and what books I add or take away or whatever. But that's what February wrap-up is for, right? Right. Alright, let me know what you guys will be reading this month and if you've read any of the books I'm talking about or if you will be reading them as well. And I will see you later. Bye. Thank you so much for watching.